hidden among the trees in the West Virginia countryside, in what might be mistaken for a summer camp, you'll find men and their machines. The machines are Sports Car Club of America racing cars. The place, Summit Point Raceway. The planter's Nissan crew for car number seven has attracted quite a crowd, but they haven't come to watch the skilled mechanics as they exchange spark plugs. Some of them have never even seen a race before. They're not concerned about the lap times or the horsepower. They're starstruck. But Tom Cruise is a serious new race driver. He began his career last year in showroom stock, and he's had 16 starts and four wins. And now, for this season, Newman Sharp Racing has built him car number seven, a state-of-the-art Nissan racing car. I enjoy the competition. I, I enjoy coming out here and hanging out with everybody. You know, uh... I enjoy the people. Tom and his wife enjoy the company of other drivers, like Larry Pryor, who drives car number 99. I don't think I've done anything that requires the level of concentration and physical dexterity over such a period of time as driving a race car. Another of Tom's GT3 racing companions is Irv Sherman, who drives car number 70, and he loves everything about racing. I like the smells, I like the sounds, I like the way they look. It's one of the loves in my life. Don Meluzio drives car number 53. I asked him how he felt about racing against Tom Cruise. We raced with him all last year, and then I decided to go to a Porsche, which is a GT3 car, and I guess in maybe November, we found out that Tom was doing the Nissan, so we knew we were right back to the same thing as last year. The temperature is 90 degrees, humidity 80%, but it's time to go racing. Tom Cruise driving car number seven, the red, white, and blue Nissan, is starting 11th overall and leading the GT3 class. Opposite him on the outside in car number 53, the orange and white Porsche 924 is Don Meluzio. Third in the GT3 is car number 11, the white Vega driven by Bob Kendazi. And fourth, Larry Pryor in car number 99. At the green flag, Kendazi takes the inside. He's passing Meluzio and Cruise. He's leading the GT3 race. It's a new car for Kendazi. The question now is, can he sustain this lead? There's a scrambling for position as they take turn one. Cruz is caught behind a slower car on the inside. Meluzio takes advantage of his position on the outside and pulls ahead as they round turn two. Driving car number seven represents for Tom Cruise a major transition from a showroom stock car with street tires to driving a sophisticated racing machine where the handling characteristics have infinite adjustability. This is only his third GT3 race. Kendazi is in the pits. He's broken down and he's out of the race. That puts Meluzio in first, Gavato second, Cruise is in third, and fire number 99 in fourth. Cruz is pouring it on, trying to overtake Gavatos. He's off the track. He's trying to correct. 99 slips by. Cruz is concerned that the car may be damaged. He's taking it into the pits for a safety check. Gavatos, number 88, the red and white Nissan, is running second now. And prior in number 99, the yellow Porsche is running third. There goes Cruz into the pit for a checkup. Meluzio has the clear lead, followed by Covatos, 88, Pryor, 99. Cruz apparently has a clean bill of health, and he's back on the track running for it, followed by Irv Sherman, number 70. Covatos is developing engine trouble. Pryor is hoping to move up into that second spot. He's on the brake. He's sliding to avoid number 14, who's off the track and has picked up a wall of dust. Pryor stalled out. Cruz is trying to overtake Meluzio, but he can't regain his position. Meluzio goes on to take first place. We almost uh, came back and got Meluzio or uh, Porsche, but uh, you know, we'll have to see. We all, we'll have Elkhart this year.